So if you've been having issues with your games lately, they just don't load properly or crash during gameplay, or you've narrowed down the issue to your graphics card, today I'll be showing you how to reinstall and install drivers for your NVIDIA graphics card. Today, I'll be reinstalling drivers for my NVIDIA GTX 980 that I've been fixing for a friend. This will obviously work for any other RTX or GTX card, but if you have an AMD card, you can go ahead and check out my other video that I did recently going over the process for AMD cards. So, what you want to do first is uninstall the drivers, but unfortunately, NVIDIA doesn't have their own specialty tool for uninstalling drivers. Luckily, there's a tool called DDU that we'll use to uninstall drivers so we have a clean slate to work with to install the new ones. What you want to go ahead and do first is open a Chrome tab. So in Chrome, you want to search for DDU. It should just be this first link right here, so go ahead and click on that. And you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down until you find the download location. It doesn't really matter what you do. I'll just choose West Coast. You can scroll down and it should just take five seconds or so to download. If it doesn't, you might need to go back. And as you can see, it's downloading right there. So once you do that, you want to just go ahead and click on show on folder with this arrow right here. Or you can just go to the file explorer by yourself. So as you can see, I have it moved to my desktop here just so you guys can see it better. And uh, I have WinRAR installed. If you don't have any of that, that's fine. You'll still have an extract option. But you just want to go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to use 7-zip, extract to. And as you can see, it makes another folder. So you want to just go ahead and click on that. And you'll see you want to have this right here. So go ahead and double click on it. And this is the actual uh, application it's extracting. So click on extract. And you'll have a new folder named DDU followed by the version number. So you can go ahead and click on this folder right here, and you'll have this little exe file right here, so just go ahead and click on that. You'll have to grant admin rights, click on yes. So DDU will go ahead and open after that. Uh, you probably don't have MSI Afterburner, but if you do, it'll automatically close it. I'll just click OK. Here's just some instructions. It shows how it works and all of that. Uh, we just go ahead and click OK. And here's some other options. So after that, you'll get this little pop-up saying that you're not in safe mode. Really, it's going to be fine. We can just go ahead and click OK. And here we can go ahead and select the GPU. So under Select Device Type, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'll go ahead and select GPU. And as you can see, it detects that I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. So I have a few options here. There's Clean and Restart. This is what we're going to use. But let's say I'm upgrading to, say, an RTX 2080, and I wanted to install the new drivers for that. I will click Clean and Shut Down. So it'll shut down, and I can install the new card and go ahead and install the new drivers. But for our purposes today, we're going to go ahead and click on Clean and Restart. After that, it'll give this little pop-up right here, and it'll go ahead and do its thing. After that, it'll go ahead and restart, and we'll be back inside of Windows 10. We can go to the NVIDIA website and get the new drivers. So as you can see, I'm back in Windows 10. Uh, the resolution is kind of small, so that means the uninstallation went successfully. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in, and we can go ahead and get the drivers. Alrighty, so you want to just go ahead and click on Google Chrome or whatever browser you use, and we can go ahead and go to the NVIDIA website. Just search for something like NVIDIA drivers, something along those lines, it doesn't really matter. After you search for that, you can just click on the first link right here. And you can go ahead and choose what type of graphics card you have. As you can see, it's already kind of chosen that I have a GeForce card on the 9 series. Though, if it doesn't do that, you just click on, you know, if I, let's say a Titan, and I would do, uh, let's say I have a Titan X Pascal, and that's it. But, of course, I have a GTX 980, so I'm just going to go ahead and do GeForce. Scroll down until I find GeForce 900 series. I have a 980, and that's that. For operating system, I have Windows 10 installed, 64-bit of course. For download type, I'm just going to choose Game Ready Driver, Language English, so you can change that of course, and click on Search. As you can see, it gives a download link for the driver, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on Download. After a while, it'll redirect you to this little link right here, so go ahead and click on Download. And it'll start downloading the driver. After a while, the driver will complete its download, so you can just go ahead and click on it right here. You'll have to grant admin rights probably. You want to go ahead and click on yes. And click on OK. This will go ahead and extract the files necessary to the designated location. After a while, it should show the NVIDIA graphics driver installer. This is the splash screen. And you'll get this little menu. I'll go ahead and minimize Chrome. 
and it'll give you two options, one NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce Experience, and just the NVIDIA graphics driver. Now, if you've been having issues with your graphics card and you had GeForce Experience before, um, or just you want to try and uh, do something more like drastic to actually try and change it, uh, I recommend just doing NVIDIA graphics driver and uh, click on agree and then continue and do custom and only choose the graphics driver as you can see it's grayed out there anyway so you'll only install this and click on perform a clean installation this is just the best way to troubleshoot so you don't have to go back and try one thing at a time i just recommend doing this just the graphics driver to see if that fixes your issues but since this 980 is running perfectly fine i'm going to go back I'm going to go back and install nvidia graphics driver and geforce experience i'm going to go ahead and click on agree and continue we can do Express, it doesn't really matter honestly. I'm going to click on Next. And after that, it's going to go ahead and start installing the driver for the graphics card. While it's installing, you might see some flickering on your screen. This is entirely normal as it's unloading the old driver and installing the new one. After all that's finished, you'll get this little screen right here saying NVIDIA installer has finished. You can choose Create Desktop Shortcut for NVIDIA GeForce Experience and launch it. For my purposes, I'm just going to uh, uncheck this one. I don't really want to use GeForce Experience right now but you can also create a desktop shortcut if that's what you're into. I'm gonna go ahead and click on close. And it's recommended to reboot your PC after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the start menu, click on power, restart. So after you reboot your PC, you'll be back in Windows 10 and the driver will be successfully installed. At this point, you can go to whatever game you were having issues with before and see if this fixed your issue. And for the most part, this should be the fix. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, you should subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.